We're going to talk some more on this. Let's bring in Florida Congressman Byron Donalds, member of the House Oversight Committee. Byron, you heard our uh, Brooke talk about the most recent revelations. I'm just, one of my points, Byron, is this guy from Burisma was speaking to this uh, source with such detail and specificity about all the little LLC accounts, about 17 conversations, two with the president, 15 with the president's son. It just, you know, it has a certain credibility to it. I know there's still allegations and so forth, but it just seems like you couldn't make this up. Well, let's add to that. I agree with everything that you say. Also keep in mind that in, I believe it was 2018, Joe Biden was actually, op he openly was speaking about the fact that he got this prosecutor in Ukraine fired. He was bragging about that. Let's also add to that that when you detail the other information that has been released from the Oversight Committee, this web of LLCs and all these bank accounts and all of this movement of dollars, which in my view at this point looks directly like money laundering and concealment, when you have that apparatus, which is the modus operandi for the Biden family, it makes this document seem incredibly credible and valid. At the end of the day, this document clearly states that Joe Biden took money in a pay-for-play scheme from Burisma in Ukraine, and Joe Biden used his office to get a prosecutor fired. That's what everything is saying right now. Meanwhile, the knucklehead media wants to focus on the Donald Trump impeachment when what we really have in the United States in the United States is a president and his family that have taken money from foreign sources. This would be the biggest political scandal in American history. Absolutely right about that. But you know, Byron, I mean, think about it this way. Um, Ukraine, that's the way you do business, right? You have a little walking around money, you got to get something done, you pony up a black bag operation. It's kind of like the South Bronx on Election Day here in New York. It's the same mentality. And what he was trying to do, this is why I love this. This is a business story, right? Of course, we're a business network. They wanted to open up, they wanted an IPO, some kind of energy IPO that uh, Burisma would sponsor in Texas, right? Or they wanted to hook in with an as yet unnamed American oil company, also in Texas. But as long as this prosecutor was around, they couldn't do it. So what do they do? They pull out the black bag. Five million to uh, Papa uh, Biden and another five large to his dumb son, Hunter. I mean, the thing is, it makes sense. That's what's so mind-boggling about this. It totally makes sense, and it begs a, a couple of other questions. If you're the FBI and you got this information from a confidential human source, somebody you say is credible, somebody that you're continuing to pay, mind you, somebody who you're so concerned about their safety if this document is released, then where are the investigations, Larry? How come this information hasn't been gone through and investigated by the FBI or the Department of Justice? And I'll throw one us to you. You know the FBI elements, let me not say all, elements of the FBI and elements of the DOJ like leaking this kind of information to the press when it suits their interests. How come there have been no leaks on this up until this point? That is because it's been the painstaking uh, a work of the Oversight Committee and Senator Grassley, and you finally have some whistleblowers who've come forward, who've now let us know that these documents even exist. You know, you got... Uh, you got your committee, you got Mr. Comer, you got yourself, you got Jim Jordan, you got Chuck Grassley, you got a lot of great reporting from our Brooke Singman here at Fox Digital. I mean, the noose is tightening every day. Byron, before I let you go, can't you bust Christopher Ray? I mean, this guy, this guy has no more business being the head of the FBI than uh, some uh, pitchers I could name uh, starting ball games for the New York Yankees. Well, listen, I'm very concerned about what's going on here with Chris Ray, and that's another matter that I think judiciary and oversight are going to have to look into and dig into that. I mean, but look, in my view, first person up in terms of administrative lackeys, that would be Alejandro Mayorkas, because in my view, he has completely lied to Congress about our southern border. But do we have a serious problem if the president has taken money and his family has taken money because if his decisions as commander in chief are compromised because of the money the family has received, that strikes at the very core of our republic and it turns us into a third world nation. Yeah, well said. 
Byron Donalds, as always, sir, thank you for helping us. We appreciate it.